This week, the World of Outlaw Sprint Car Series heads east in preparation for the month of money. The Dirt Car Summer Nationals Hell Tour hits the home stretch. And while the Super Dirt Car Series may have the week off, the safety clean big blocks are still in action. Can Super Matt continue his dominance? This and more next on this week's edition of Four Wide Weekly. Four Wide gets underway this week with the World of Outlaw Sprint Cars from Cedar Lake Speedway last Friday night. And it was the dude Danny Lasoski and Jason Myers starting from row number one. And it looked early on as though Lasoski would lead that lap, but defending series champion Myers found the inside of the speedway out of corner number four to lead lap number one. Further back in the field, Steve Kinzer and Joey Saldana waging a tremendous battle. Here as Saldana gets to the inside, Kinzer throws it right back at him in corner number three, but Saldana too good on the outside part of the speedway to retake the position. Donnie Schatz tried to throw his head into the ring as well, but Kinzer looked great through the middle part of the racetrack. Pulling underneath Brad Sweet, Sammy Swindell would try to follow through as well, but just a few cars behind these guys, Craig Delansky gets out of shape, he collects Ben Gregg, Lucas Wolf, and Brian Brown. Quite the mess over there in corner number two. That would bring out the red flag. After the restart, however, Myers would continue on with his dominance of Cedar Lake Speedway, pulling out of corner number four to get his first World of Outlaw Sprint Car Series win of the season. His first as reigning series champion. I tell you what, we, this entire team, DD9, GLR, Media Time, Leeds, uh, everybody that's behind this all-star performance that's been sticking with me all year long and, you know, the beginning of the season, it was what's wrong, what's wrong, and, and uh, you know, then everybody, Charlie, he's been on the phone pumping me up all week, and I'm worried about that first win, we've been running good, and, and uh, my parents, everybody kept telling me, you get your wife and kids out there on the road, you win one. This is our first night here, we flew out yesterday, first night here, I got my wife, my two baby girls with me, and uh, I can't stand up about this entire team. Danny Lasoski would hold on to the runner-up spot ahead of Steve Kinzer, Kerry Madsen, and Brad Sweet in the top five. Donnie Schott, Sammy Swindell, Joey Saldana, Jason Sides, and Mark Dobmeyer the top ten. The very next night, the Outlaws headed to Beaver Dam Raceway, and once again, Jason Myers started on the front row, but this time he was joined by the 59 of Brooke Tatnell. Tatnell took the initial lead, but Beaver Dam proved to be a KKR track all around on Saturday night here as Paul McMahon pulls to the inside out of corner number four to lead lap number one. It was another KKR machine, however, that proved to be the car to beat, and that was the Red Bull number nine of Saldana. Here is he blasts to the outside of the speedway, passing Tatnell for the runner-up spot out of turn four. Later on, Saldana, the same move going into corner number three, gets to the outside of McMahon on lap number 17 in lap traffic to take the race lead. From that point on, Saldana would not be touched, except for Craig Delansky trying to make one last ditch effort into corner number three. Saldana, though, too strong on the top side. He takes the win. His fourth World of Outlaw Sprint Car Series win of the season, a tremendous turnaround after what some would call a dismal start to the summer. Oh man, this is this has been a tough season uh, since July or June, June and July, and uh, definitely a great team effort. We've been working really hard, and and uh, maybe mentally I was thinking my not my guys, but just uh, maybe just maybe uh, you know it's hard to keep your you know your adrenaline pumping and want to come to these races when these guys are just beating you up every night, but. We stuck with it and uh, had a really good car tonight. I knew Craig was fast. This is, this is his type of track too. And, um, just very good run for Red Bull. Delansky would cross the line in second. Paul McMahon hung on for third ahead of Jason Myers and Brad Sweet with another top five. Looking at the series standings, a strong weekend for Myers gives him the point lead by six markers over Joey Saldana. Donnie Schatz and Steve Kinzer the top four. The Outlaws next in action tonight at Lima Land Motorsports Park in Lima, Ohio, and then again this weekend, Kings Royal Weekend at Eldora Speedway. We'll be back with more next right here on Four Wide Weekly. 
you wanted the best. They're coming for a breast. It's the World of Outlaws. Witness the King Steve Kinzer, new champ Jason Myers, the bullet Joey Sultana, red hot Tony Shots, and all of sprint car racing superstars. Don't miss your chance to experience the greatest show on turf. There is no event bigger, harder, or longer than the Iron Man 55. The Outlaws Ultimate Test. 55 laps crowning sprint car racing's Iron Man. Money saving advance tickets are on sale now at worldofoutlaws.com. The Iron Man 55. One night only. Saturday, August 6th. I-55 Raceway. Evely. Welcome back to this week's edition of Four Wide Weekly. The Summer Nationals continues to soldier on here with round number 15 from Farmer City Raceway in Farmer City, Illinois from Friday night. Scott James and Jack Sullivan started up there on row number one, but it was held to her point leader, Shannon Babb, pulling into the race lead from position number three. Brandon Shepard, however, the young 18-year-old hot shoe, found the inside of the racetrack out of corner number two to take the race lead, looking for his second win of the season. Bab, though, he stays on the top side of the speedway, retakes the race lead down the front straightaway. But young Shepard would not give up. Later on, finding the inside once again out of corner number four, his favorite move on the speedway, uses that bottom line to pull back past Bab, using the 54 of Dylan White as a pick down the back straightaway away. Brandon Shepard would go on to pick up his second held to her win of 2011, beating out held to her point leader, Bab. The 1S of Sullivan came home in third ahead of Scott James in fourth and Dennis Erb in the number 28 in the top five. The Hell Tour rolled on the next night at Clarksville Speedway in Clarksville, Tennessee. And once again, it was Shannon Babb out in front, this time trying to avenge the loss from the night before. But look at this, the number 88 of Wendell Wallace goes to the outside of the speedway. Once again, the 54 of Dylan White being used as a pick, this time down the front straightaway. And Wallace will take the race lead going into corner number one. Bab, though, the tour point leader would not give in easily, trying to pull to the inside one more time down here in corner number one, but Wallace rolls right through the middle of the racetrack with ease, pulling back in front of Bab into corner number three. Wendell Wallace in car number 88 rolls to the outside of lap traffic out of corner number four. The driver from Batesville, Arkansas gets the win. Bab again finishes in second ahead of Terry English, Kent Robinson, and Jack Sullivan. Jeep Van Wormer and Scott James bring the Hell Tour field down for round number 17 at Tri-State Speedway in Hobstadt, Indiana on Sunday. And it was James on the outside of the racetrack pulling into the early race lead, but Van Wormer slams it down to the bottom, tries to hold him off, but James would lead lap number one. Eventually though, Van Wormer would find the middle part of the speedway here in corner number one, driving outside and around James for the race lead out of turn two. But while this battle for the lead was going on, Shannon Babb was closing. Here dropping the hammer on the outside of turn number three for a tremendous three car battle down the front straightaway. Babb uses the crossover to slip underneath Van Wormer for second out of corner number two. And Babb would not be denied after finishing second the previous two nights. Here, the Mawikwa missile moves to the outside of Scott James to take the race lead, going into corner number three. Your held tour point leader behind the wheel of car number 18 would then roll on to victory, his fourth of the Dirt Car Summer Nationals here in 2011. James came home second, Van Wormer third, Rodney Melvin in fourth, ahead of young Bobby Pierce in the top five. And last night, Shannon Babb was at it again, picking up his fifth series win at Brownstown Speedway in Brownstown, Indiana, after Don O'Neill and Jeep Van Wormer tangled in controversy. Dennis Erb came home second ahead of Dustin Neat and Dylan Woy. Babb continues to pad his series point lead by 206 points over Scott James, Dennis Erb, Ryan Unziger, and Brandon Shepard, the top five. The series next in action tonight, July 13th, at LaSalle Speedway in LaSalle, Illinois. We'll be back with more next, right here on 4 Wide Weekly. Too big to miss. Too unbelievable. Two, two times the action. Two World of Outlaws features on the same track. The same night is the Don Martin Memorial Silver Cup at Lernerville Speedway. Tuesday, July 19th. Two, two times the racing. Two times the excitement. Two World of Outlaws feature events. Get your advanced tickets now and receive a free fan pit pass at Lernerville.com. It's the Don Martin Memorial Silver Cup at Lernerville Speedway. The World of Outlaws. Not once, but tw twice. Welcome back to this week's edition of 4 Wide Weekly. 
Well, even though the Super Dirt Car Series had the week off, the safety clean Mr. Dirt Car Big Block Modifieds were still in action at a track near you. These highlights coming in from Canandaigua Speedway on Saturday night. Vinny Vitale had the early advantage in car number 56, but it was Kid Troyer in the 8R Rob Bellinger taking the race lead on the outside in the corner number three. But keep a look behind here. The Aussie Peter Britton in the 21A works to the low side. He swallows up Vitale and Bellinger at the same time out of turn four for the race lead. But all eyes were on Super Matt Shepard, a master of the Canandaigua Speedway in recent years. Here he moves to the inside of Vitaly to take the runner-up spot. He would then charge after Britton into corner number three, making contact as they round out of turn number four. Britton would try to squeeze Shepard down behind the lap car. He was successful. Britton hangs on to the race lead, but not for long. Lap number 25, Shepard uses the outside of the racetrack to take the race lead coming across the stripe. Britton now in danger of losing the runner-up spot to Vitaly coming down for the white flag, but Peter drives it deep into corner number three, slamming the door shut out of turn four to hang on to the runner-up spot. As the field came down for the checkered flag, Britton gave it one last try on the outside, but Shepard was too much. He takes his 10th weekly win of the season in big block modified competition over Britain. Vinny Vitale, Billy Dunn, and Rob Bellinger. Looking now at the Canandaigua track standing, Shepard holds a 28-point lead on Harris, Johnson, Bellinger, and Steve Payne. The next event at Canandaigua Speedway this Saturday night, it's Honey Oyano Parts Night at the Races. After another weekend of big block modified competition, Shepard holds the Mr. Dirt Car point lead by 30 markers over Brett the Jet Hearn, Danny Johnson, Justin Harris, and Kenny Tremont Jr. And don't forget, any Dirt Car sanctioned Speedway can submit their weekly highlights to 4 Wide Weekly. Email 4 TV at dirtcar.com for more information. Last night's World of Outlaws Late Model Series event at Independence Motor Speedway was rained out. That event has been postponed and rescheduled for Monday, August the 8th. The next Late Model Series event is tonight, July 13th, at the Deer Creek Speedway in Deer Creek, Minnesota. Looking at this week's 4Wide.TV Power Rankings, and it's your Dirt Car Summer Nationals Hell Tour Point Leader, Shannon Babb, leading the way. Your World of Outlaws Sprint Car Series winners, Jason Myers and Joey Saldana from the past week sit second and third. World of Outlaws Late Model Series point leader Rick Eckert is in fourth, and UMP Modified standout Mike Harrison works his way into the top five. Making his way into the rankings for the very first time, Brandon Shepard, after yet another win on the Hell Tour, moves into position number 10. Be sure to tune in to next week's edition of 4 Wide Weekly as we recap the Dirt Car Summer Nationals Hell Tour and bring you all the coverage from King's Royal Weekend at Eldora Speedway, plus highlights from the World of Outlaws Late Models and more coverage of the Super Dirt Car Series.